Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Goodness, there's quite a few of you around here. Hang on, let me uh, let me get things moving around here. So uh, that that's what we want to do right there. Okay, all right, we're we're fine. Everything is fine now. Okay, so I was I was as usual fussing around with the stream again. I can just never get it the way I exactly wanted. It. It's very very fussy. Bobcat, Doctor Avalanche, Azrar, M, Roy Scat, Fitz, Bresme. Uh, Spike, little girl. I, I, I'm trying not to call you Carol. And Porsche, welcome, 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 welcome. Well, let's not get attached to what's going on today because this will be the last of this colony. I, it can all burn to the ground for for all anyone cares because when we get here next week, Mark, welcome, welcome, welcome. We get when, when we get here next week, uh, we'll be full on into anomaly and we will be starting that. Hang on, coffee in my face. There we go. Much better. Okay, yeah, we are technically still alive. Um, we're still kind of technically down a person because Wolf is still kidnapped. But Ditch is on board, and we're very excited about Ditch. Ditch is just fantastic. I, I kind of forget what it is you do around here. You do a little bit of everything. You're not so bad on the intellectual stuff. Um, remind me why we have the, the alpacas. Oh, these are quest alpacas, and this is a quest duck. We've got a quest duck, Em. I think you've missed that. Uh, karaoke was a bit of a wash. Nobody I was wanting to hang with after work was there. DJ was having some kind of download issues. Yeah, he can join the club along with me as well. I was having, I've been having a, issues for a couple of days now getting stuff to upload. That's why there's no video up right now for today is because it's still uploading. I left it to upload this morning and it, it just didn't. It just said, nah, I don't feel like doing that. And I've had to upload it all over again. So here we are. We're, this can all burn down. Mel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Mel, welcome to the colony that we just don't care about. So we will um, we will probably continue our weird tutorial for Rob and anyone else who isn't that familiar with RimWorld. And see how far we get with that. Yeah, you missed the duck. We have a quest duck. He's a very, very important duck. Uh, he's down here in Ducktown. It's Sasquatch the Duck. Um, a little bit of a callback to Penge's Sasquatch there, but I didn't name this one. So this is Sasquatch the duck. Very important duck. He's got plenty of corn to eat. Everything is just fine in that regard. We could do with some more food around the place. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, we can pretend to care, but we're probably not because, you know, we're going to burn this thing to the ground next week. So I guess Anomaly will be out, I understand, on Thursday. So I'll have basically uh, an evening not even really not even because I, I work so I'll be getting home late um, long story short I think I'm gonna burn pal world and we'll just start Friday with anomaly I might I see what you guys think of this concept because it's a concept it's not an idea it's more of a concept there's a shaman merchant rolling into town that's cool so it's, it's more of a concept than an idea uh, and it's not even a stupid, stupid idea. It's, it's it's literally just an idea. A concept, if you will. I'm thinking of doing back-to-back -back RimWorld for Anomaly. So do it Friday and Saturday. At least for next week. And then kind of see how I broadly feel about things. And, you know, if we want to continue with that. Uh, hang on, I gotta go buy some hardcore narcotics. Or sell some hardcore narcotics. I'm really never sure. Uh, Queen Frosty, why don't you go deal with this guy, please? Did I tell you about the tree that almost took out my house? I, you did not. Stupid questions only. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Because a real life tree almost took out your real life house. We've had a lot of that around here lately. We've had a lot of, a lot of tree damage from the wind. Stupid, stupid ideas are the best. You're right, they are. You're right. They're amazing. They're, they're absolutely amazing. Stupid, stupid ideas. Uh, ha now, Brad, Brad, I want to, Brad, you're a visionary, I get it, but I, I do, I just want you to get the correct phrasing there, it's, have a wonderful cereal day, have a wonderful cereal day, okay, I see what you're doing, but if I walked up to you, Brad, and I just said, have a cereal day, you'd be like, dude, what does that even mean, but if I walked up to you and said, Brad, have a wonderful cereal day, you'd be like, wow, thanks, Dave, I will, um, everyone seems to be on board for uh, back to back room world. I would too, uh, for a number of reasons. I'd really like to see what's going on in it. Um, you know, it's Rim World. I, I certainly want to see what's going on. And secondly, I, you know, I do want to kind of capture the moment, if you will. A lot of people will be looking for Rim World content, and I'd like to take advantage of that as best I can. Um, will Pal World be on a break, or just I'm done with Pal World? I don't really know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Double Rim World will be most likely this Friday. Um, and apparently, uh, well, I, I think Mel is fine except for the tree issue. I could get some pigs. I don't actually have a lot of money, but I could get some pigs. 
That's not the worst idea. I'll sell out the, the Psych IT. Actually, wait a minute. Don't we have someone who depends on that? We have someone who depends on that. Okay, I'm probably not buying much of anything from these people. Why would I buy much of anything? We're going to burn this colony to the ground in about 90 minutes or so. A uh, 400-gallon water tank took one for the team, deflected the tree, made it take out the fence, and killed the tank. So you have no water, is what you're saying. Are you dying of thirst? We don't really do water here in RimWorld, unless you mod it. Okay, um, don't sell the important duck. Don't sell the important alpacas. No, I, I'm, I'm actually good. I, I think you probably won't even bother trading with these people because, um, you know, 90 minutes or so, these guys are done. Hurley, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hurley, it's all, it, we all don't care anymore. We're just on a we don't care philosophy here in RimWorld. Um, Gazelle, I know you're paralyzed. How? Oh, no, no, you're not paralyzed. You're a guest. I have a lot of guests. I'm just basically this universe's pet hotel. Uh, except one tiny bucket I filled for the hurricane season. So you really actually have no water. That's that's less good. I'm I'm no biologist, but I'm pretty sure humans need animal to or like water rather to live. Where is Looney? Ah, yeah, bit of a problem. Um bit of a bit of a problem with Looney the horse. Um Well, I'm just gonna say things happened and they were not my fault. I'm gonna open with that. Things happened that were not my fault at all. Okay, they were not my fault, um, but things happened where Looney may not really be um, around anymore because Looney just wandered off and because we didn't have a pen or anything and horses are largely useless. Uh, sell the excess clothes. Uh, we can take a peek. I, 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 we'll have a look. Again, I'm not super concerned if we make a ton of money here. Uh, they don't want any of the clothes. Yeah, they're not interested in any of those clothes. Never mind. Good idea, Mark, but no, they, they're not interested in buying those at all. All right, so who's going first in my little hotel? Gazelle's out in 8.9 days. The VIP duck is out in 11, and these guys are out in 9.4. Okay, they are going to be here for a while. Everybody's going to be hanging around for a while. Uh, I got drinking water yesterday, but everything else... Is, yeah, no, you have, like, no water. That's, that's like, definitely one of those components we all need to live. I'm, I'm really, really confident in that. Uh, better than a loony sandwich? Yes. Although, you know, we could always do with the food. Oh, hang on, hang on, who's dead? Uh, what? Oh, Narishi. Could somebody go pick up naked Narishi carefully? Carefully. I think he's got awful, terrible, just ridiculous food poisoning. Um, yeah. Hypothermia. How cold is it? It's 45, Narishi. That's not that cold. Did you sleep in the freezer? You slept in the fr- You've got a perfectly good bed down here, Narishi. A perfectly good bed. Are we having a killing or let's burn everything stream? Um, I think we're just going to kind of run out the clock more than anything. Oh, hang on. There's a transport pod. We can take another useless person in here. Hakuja. Okay. Not affiliated with anything. Okay. Um, where are you? And how close are you to death? Oh, you actually haven't even landed yet. Okay. Get out of your pod. Okay. Hakuja. How close are you to death? Six hours. You know what? I can swing that one. Um, ditch. Go get Hakuja. We will uh, we'll rescue Hakuja. I think he slept in the in the freezer too, Spike Old Girl, which is weird because we've got a perfectly good bed for him. Got a perfectly good bed with his name typed on it very neatly, I might add, right here. Right here. Notice my columns started sleeping in the cold randomly now instead of their very nice bedrooms. Yeah, I think Narishi just did that. Um, Ditch, you're moving super slow, kid. Super slow. I'm sure you have food poisoning because basically everyone has food poisoning. Uh, but we need to get a wriggle on here. Yeah, no, d don't bother. Queen Frosty will go get Hakuja here. Queen Frosty's moving slightly faster than you. Ditch. Oh my god, man. Alright, so yeah, major food poisoning. And you don't have a lung. That is going to slow you down. You ain't wrong. That is going to slow you down. Yeah, check, uh, as Mel's saying, check your zones. I, I had that going on for a long time where I would change the zone, and then I'd forget to change it back, and they're like, I'm sorry, my bedroom is in the Forbidden Zone. Dum-dum-dum. Dum-dum. Dum. Yeah. So, anytime you say the Forbidden Zone, you have to say it like that, otherwise it doesn't count. City Builder Lily, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hang on, coffee in my face. Is it too hot out? Uh, no. And it's not too cold, either. It's 51 degrees. And because I do Fahrenheit, I know what 51 is. That's in the middle. Zero, very, very cold. And then 100, very, very hot. 
So 52, right in the middle. Right in the middle. So I know it's neither too hot nor too cold. It's about in the middle. Uh, yeah, I could make an extra medical bed out of the prison room. You're not wrong about that. But they can also just bunk up. Narishi's not going to be here for that long. You have serious hypothermia. Again, it's 50 in here. I know you have no clothes on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. If I stripped naked... Okay, it is about... Well, let's get to me stripping naked first. Okay, so if for argument's sake, Mel, if for argument's sake, I took off all of my clothes now, and actually you can neither confirm nor deny that I haven't already done that. It is... It's not 50, but it's probably about... 47 out right now right now i mean in the real world real world dave in fact i'm actually looking at my my monitor right now it says it's 43 out right now and and i'd say it's actually a little tiny bit warmer than that so 43 right now so that's not that far away from 50 okay it's pretty close pretty close so if i strip naked and again you can you cannot confirm nor deny that i'm not already naked oh hang on i should probably heal hakuja i'm gonna come back to my nudity in a moment uh, so yes, let somebody prioritize tending to Hakuja, because he's going to die in two hours. Uh, are you any good, by the way? Uh, you have a, a degree of skills. You're a waster, so you're addicted to Psychite. Yeah, that's why we have that Psychite tea. Okay, so um, back to um, back to my nudity. All right, so it's about, let's, let's say for argument's sake, it's about 50. In the real world, real world Dave's environment is about 50 right now. If I strip naked like Narishi, except for my hat like Narishi, and I walked outside, would it be chilly? Sure. Like, huh, this is not ideal. Would I suffer from hypothermia? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'd be able to wander around and be like, wow, I really wish I had some clothes on. That would make this way more comfortable. But I'm not, I'm not going to freeze to death and suffer from hypothermia. So my, my short version of this is Narishi is just kind of whining a little bit. Uh, 51 degrees C is like 126. Yes, now we're, we deal with Fahrenheit here. Um, and Portia is begging me to promise you're wearing clothes. I, I can't do that, Portia. I can't do that. I like, I like a degree of mystery between my viewers and myself. That's why there's no face cam. Uh, if they're naked, then the need of a temp sticker. Yeah, they need a temp sticker. They do. They need to cover their body in temperature stickers and find out if they're hot or cold. 8 degrees C. I mean, I'm not saying that's super warm. I'm just not saying it's hypothermia. I mean, this guy's saying he's dying because it's so cold. Serious hypothermia. Serious hypothermia. It's 55 out now. Now it's almost 60. Now you're just whining. Okay, because 60 is not actually that bad. 60 is pretty nice. It's going to be 60 on Monday. I'm very excited about that. Very, very excited about that. All right, here's what I'm going to do for you, Narishi. I will... I don't know why, but I will put a heater in your room, even though it's almost 60 out right now. Uh, who's good at things? What are you doing? You're cheering up Gazelle. Uh, yeah, we don't really care much about him. Could you work on the heater, please? You'd hear it in my voice. Um, I, I Maybe. Maybe you would. You guys know me fairly well. Maybe you would. Uh, what was I doing? Eight degrees is the warmest the inside of a fridge should be. Yes, but you're not going to die, Royscat. And also, I would disagree. I, I think uh, below uh, below 42 is the minimum. I mean, I'm, I'm talking in terms of food safety at this point. I believe it's be 42 or below is the minimum that you need. Um, hang on, coffee. Um, and I'm, I'm stretching my memory on food safety there, but I believe 42 or below. I think anything above that and you are growing things in your food that you probably didn't want there. Um, no, wait, are we are we working on the freezer there? No, no, no. I, I see that you're actually you're cooking meals. That's actually really handy. Uh, Ditch, could you do this, please? You, oh, we're missing steel. Well, why would we not be? Can you go mine some steel? Go mine some compacted steel. Uh, you're not going to die unless you're static for any length of time. Yeah, I suppose maybe if I fell asleep outside in 50 degree weather and I had no clothes on, maybe, maybe, you'd think so having having someone to share the bed with would warm, yeah, exactly, Spike Little Girl's got it, body heat, okay, body heat right here, that should be a mechanic actually, uh, you would potentially reach hypothermia in about two hours if naked outside, okay, I got two hours to play with then, hun, I got two hours of outdoor nudity to play with, 
All right, and that's a lot of time. You know me. I can get a lot done in two hours if I put my mind to it. Uh, coffee keeps your naked body warm. Yes, exactly. Um, have, we, uh, have we forgotten about pants or no pants? I, I don't know who forgot about that. I don't know who would forget. It's, it's the core of my channel, really. It's, it's the absolute core of my channel. So um, I, I would posit to you, hon. Jack, welcome, welcome, welcome. I would posit to you, hon, that I can get quite a bit done in two hours. And if I'm moving, I'm going to be warm, too. If I'm moving, I'm going to be all warmed up. Uh, I would probably be immediately arrested because we live in a, a very dense neighborhood and um, people would notice the naked guy running around in the cold temperature. Uh, but um, I, think I, I think I can survive for a couple of hours. I muted Mortal's live stream three hours to go on the monthly Rimian, Rimian ship? Rimian ship? Wow, to have two. Uh, what is Rimian ship? Is that a thing? Is that real or did you make that up to confuse me? Many people do. Um, Hakuja, have we dealt with your most basic needs? Yes, yes, we actually have. Good for us. Uh, Narishi, are you warmed up a little bit now? Nope, still serious, serious hypothermia, plus the food poisoning. Plus the food poisoning, and everyone's going to bed. Okay, Ditch, you seem to be moving faster. Are you over your little uh, flummox there? Uh, yeah, basically, kind of. The food poisoning's gone, at least. Okay, what, what, can, I, what can I do? I've seen Bear Grylls strip naked in sub-zero temperatures, but he's insane. Yes, exactly. Uh, oh, it's a competition. Okay. A gift from the kinship. That's odd, because I bought nothing from them. Twice. Uh, okay, they dumped some uranium on my yard. I don't know if that's a gift or if that's just toxic waste they're getting rid of. I think that's just toxic waste. It would take longer if you're doing stuff, but let's just say you don't do it. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying I could survive, is what I'm saying. I, I'm saying 50 degrees is not that cold. Okay, not that. I'm not saying it's comfortable. I'm not saying it's comfy. I'm just saying if your husband was outside with no clothes on right now, I would be uncomfortable, but I would be alive. Uh, have you or would you do a joint live stream with Mrs. Dave? Uh, have and plan. Uh, Brad, I'm glad. See, this is why Brad gets it. Brad's a visionary like me. Brad looks at this entire operation here at the wee hours. Brad looks at all of this and says, when do we get more Mrs. Dave? Um, and I agree, Brad. I agree. I, I, I couldn't possibly agree with you anymore. Brad looked at the entire channel and, and subscribed to this nonsense and with the sole intention of saying, so dude, when do we when when do we get more uh, when do we get more Mrs. Dave around here? I I, 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 I cannot agree with you more. Uh, there is one up, Brad. Uh, so uh, we did a, a live stream of cooking simulator, specifically uh, like the baking update with like cakes and cookies, I think it's called. So if you, if you uh, search up the old uh, cooking simulator there, it should pop up fairly easily. And then um, the, the plan is 10K. Hashtag path to 10K. Uh, yes, there was uh, Roy Scat's got it. The joint baking stream. Yes. Uh, chaotic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, uh, yeah, uh, Roy Scat's got it. I, I can't think of the exact title, but I've given you many of the words. Many of the words that's in the title. There was baking and cooking simulator and cakes and cookies and Mrs. Dave was in there somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, that's in there. That was, that was very, very fun. And uh, hashtag path to 10K. I have promised each and every one of you, as I will continue to promise each and every one of you, because I keep my promises. Sometimes it takes me a while, but I do keep my promises. Uh, that if we ever, in, in, in my lifetime, if we ever, in my lifetime, um, hit 10K, uh, and if anyone's, it's 9.04, so we got a ways to go, kids. Uh, current projections are about this time next year. Uh, but we, if if we hit 10k within my lifetime, I do need to be alive for this to happen. I will sit here and God help me, I will play Dark Souls, okay? And I will not enjoy it, and I will be terrible at it. So for those of you who fit who hit the Power World live stream yesterday and saw the boss fight at the end, that's what that stream is going to go like. It's just going to be go, me flailing and screaming and and saying no 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 and running away from things. Um, so to to boost that up a little bit, because I will not be able to pay attention to the stream at 10K, you can have nothing but Mrs. Dave's undivided attention. OK, she will be handling all of the chatty stuff in the stream. In fact, it will be much like a many a true nerd live stream in the sense that it's just vague grunting from the actual person who owns the actual channel. And then their significant other is actually taking control of the stream. So. You will have, Brad. I'm glad you asked this question, Brad. It's very important. Um, hang on. Somebody's dying. Narishi, what is your deal, dude? Okay, somebody's got to finish this freaking heater. Yeah, would you work on the heater, please? Oh, let's talk about dramatic. 
You get one naked guy and he's freezing all over the place. Uh, yeah, so Brad, I'm glad you asked this question. It's an important question. I'm glad you're asking the important question. This is an important question. If we ever hit 10K within my lifetime, I, again, I do need to stress, I do need to be alive for this to happen. Um, but if that happens, again, and I, without any comedy, current projections are probably this time next year. Um, we, we, there's been a, a definite um, slump uh, for the last few months, and that set all my projections back. It was going to be October. Uh, we, I was, it was very clear to be October. But um, when that happens, within my current lifetime, again, stressing that I, I do actually need to be physically alive to do this, you will have, Brad, nothing but Mrs. Dave's undivided attention. And vaguely in the distance, you may hear me screaming, no, 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 or something along those lines. So, um, because I'll be playing Dark Souls 3, and I, I want to stress, I can't... I can't possibly say this enough times. Failed sleep. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I can't possibly say this enough times, Brad. And it's it's so good that you're bringing up the important questions because you're a visionary like me. You get this. Um, I have never even completed the tutorial for Dark Souls. Okay. I have not completed the tutorial. Okay. I can't get through the bit of the game that literally holds your hand and tells you how to play the game. I can't get through that. So the entire stream, apart from having Mrs. Dave's undivided attention, which will be delightful, uh, apart from that, it, it may just be the same boss fight over and over and over. Uh, what if Mrs. Dave secretly riles us up to help her steal the channel? Yeah, I'm broadly okay with that. That's fine. She, I mean, she's going to do a better job than I will do. Look, how, look at me. Literally anyone could have done a better job at this nonsense. Oh, sure. I build the heater just in time for Narishi to leave. Are you serious? And now you're going to have a kiwi. You're dying of hypothermia, but you're going to get down with some kiwi. Oh, super. You are, you are fussy. Fussy, 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 aren't you, Narishi? Dark Souls holding your hand. Uh, were you playing a cheap? No, no, it was, it was Dark Souls 3. I mean, holding, the, holding my hand in the sense that it guides you through the basic mechanics. Chaotic. I mean the actual tutorial area. I mean the part of the game that shows you how to play the game. I can't get through. Narishi's in the freezer again, and he's dead. Um, could somebody just go get Narishi, put him in bed, and warm him up? Uh, I almost won the boss fight. I no, I did, I did, and I I think going back in, I I got a better idea of how to um how to actually win that. It was it was frantic, but it, I I know how I could have done that. So that was a, uh, a very long-winded answer to your question, Brad, um, because that's how I roll, which is um, given given 10K, again, within my current lifetime, um, then you get nothing but Mrs. Dave's undivided attention while I bang my head against a wall. It's going to be a blast. Trust me, it's going to be a blast. You, you, can't, you can't wait for this, Brad. You just need to find about 960 new friends for me. That's it. That's it, Brad. It's a pretty easy equation. You, you, Brad, um, you go out and you're like, wow, you know what? I've got 960 friends. I'm going to get all of them to rapidly subscribe to this uh, fairly good channel so that I can have the privilege of having Mrs. Dave's undivided attention uh, for a couple of hours. So there's that. What's the main mod for this? Um, so here's the deal, Chaotic. I'm glad, I'm glad you're also asking the important questions. Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, we started this run. This is becoming a running joke on the channel now. Every time I start a RimWorld modded run, RimWorld announces a new DLC, puts out their one point whatever version of it, and completely borks all the mods. And that is what has happened again. So I started a modded run. There is a list down in the description of all the mods I had. I had in here. Okay, there's a lengthy list in the description that had all the mods that I had put in here. And the second I did that, RimWorld popped up and said, Hey, Anomaly, here's version 1.5, and borked all of the mods. So at this point, there's like only two mods left that aren't borked. I, I hesitate to even call this a modded stream in any, in any way. It's got like, at this point, I think two mods left in it. Um, we'll bring my girlfriend on this next week, though, so that will be one. Well, there's one. Brad, there's one, okay? I do very well with couples, Brad. I want you to know that. Um, I, I, have, um, I have one couple who tells me the, the things they do when they're watching my videos, and it's absolutely TMI, and I'm very happy about that. 
Very, very happy about that. So, Brad, I think you're in on a win here. Um, Brad, what you're going to do is you're going to make me date night. Okay? You're going to make me date night. All right? And I don't know how it's... Where did Narishi go? <sighs> to keep an eye... You know what, dude? You got to wear clothes now. All right? That's... I'm sorry. The nudism thing is not working out. And Hakuja just took our medicine and is going to leave. Um, Narishi, the nudism is not working out. In the sense that you keep freezing to death. All right, so you're going to have to put on a uh, some pants and put on a shirt and just kind of get over yourself a little bit with the nudity. And then go get your gun. You've, you've lost your gun here. Hang on. Get get your gun. And I'm sorry you're clothed, but there it is. Who's starving? Uh, Gazelle, are we, are we feeding people? We fed you. Okay, we this, this is... Oh, Narishi is starving. Narishi, what are you doing? You're equipping a revolver. Go get a Kiwi after that. You'll be fine, man. You'll be totally fine. Um, so, Brad, yeah, I work really well with couples in the sense that um, I, I can be your date night. Uh, and no, no, it's not late night with Dave. I'm just saying one couple has 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 commented on that. Don't forget the secret cheat code. Play Rising Star 2. Makes your virtual guitar skills transfer to real life. Um <laughs> So yeah, um, Brad, I don't know what the effect will be on you and um, your person of interest, as it were, your person of interest, uh, but um, I, I work great with couples. I work absolutely fantastic with couples. So um, that's the plan as you make... Okay, so I can see how this is all going down now. So Brad um, brings his girlfriend and and they, and they she subscribes to this channel, uh, as, I, as I hope about 960 other people do. And Brad and... and, and we'll, we'll just say... Um, I don't know. I, I, I want to say Mrs. Mrs. Brad because that's not right yet. Anyway, Brad and his significant person um, are sort of I don't know, just having a date night watching me because nothing says romance like Dave. And um, she's like, "Oh my God, I'm having such a great date night with Brad. This is the best date night I've ever had with Brad. Brad's awesome." And um, see, I'm kind of pumping you up there, man. And and I'll do that on video, by the way. Uh, so I mean I don't I don't know that Brad that she's ready for a live stream yet but you know a video should certainly we do that and she's gonna go out and she's gonna go talk to all of her friends and they're gonna be like oh our boyfriends are so unromantic and she's gonna be like oh my god I had the best I had the best date night with Brad and we sat and we watched this this weird American guy on uh, on YouTube but it was fantastic and they're gonna go you see how it, it just it blossoms from here Brad it's gonna blossom out. It's gonna blossom out from here, Brad, uh, and th and that I just need 959 more friends. It's gonna be perfect. You're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely love it. I do great with couples. I, I should be a couples person or something. I should have a whole other channel for this. Uh, I listen to Dave a lot when I sleep. I do too. Actually, I listen to Penge. That's not true. Uh, banned for a while because he invaded hubby's sleep and messed with his dreams. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's even better. Oh, you should have told me that. I'd start putting subliminal messages in me. Do you need him? Okay, Bresme, do you need him to do anything specific? Because I could work that into something. I could I could do, like, um, a commissioned video for you. So, like, like what's this thing? Does he, like, not take out the trash? And you're like, oh, my God, I wish this guy would take out the trash. I could do, like, a whole video and just, like, put that into many points. It could be a whole video about taking out trash. Trust me, I'll find a way to make that work. And then you'll play it, and then the next day he'll be like, oh my god, I've got to take out the trash, like, all the time. Why am I not taking out the trash? Why do I have no power? Why do... Okay, because this thing is down. Because this thing is down. Uh, this thing is completely down. Did we ever... No, we never repaired this either. This guy... You know what? It's probably for the best that this colony is doomed, because this colony is doomed. Um, so what's your plan if a zombie outbreak happens? Oh, that's an easy one. We've already got that planned out. Cha chaotic. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, Mrs. Dave knows exactly what to do in those circumstances. Sally Cat, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so, you know, I've played a lot of survival games, and we've learned, we've learned many things from playing survival games. The first thing we learn, any survival game, whether it's, you know, hardcore survival or it's something like Fallout 4, what do we initially gather? Stuff to take things apart and stuff to put things back together. Okay, so you're going to get anything that takes things apart. A saw, a pair of scissors, all the knives, hammers, things like that. And then things to put things back together. Rope, glue, nails. That's the first thing we gather. All right, first thing. Food is secondary at that point. He's a great hubby and does all the things he needs to. 
That's why I was so good at. That's why I was so good at RimWorld on Play One because I listened to it at night. Uh, you have been brainwashed. You're right. You have definitely been brainwashed. Uh, she and Brad break up, and she converts her new boyfriend, and he concerns his girl. Exactly. It's whatever the logarith log 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 rolling. Anyway, the log rolling will continue. You're right. Um, and, you know, it's unfortunate that she breaks up with Brad because uh, I'm sure she's very nice, and I'm sure Brad is very nice because he's a visionary like me. He gets it. And um, it's unfortunate, but um, it does progress after that. I just need, again, 960 more people. That's all. Are you taking Ma's suggestion since its playthrough is forked? No. Good question. This um, this playthrough is just done at the end of this this stream. I'm not even barely paying, playing this, as you can see. I'm, I'm barely paying attention to anything that's going on. Um, so we're, we're just going to burn this file. Uh, somebody asked earlier if I was going to play this in my own time. No, no, probably. I already have a, a, another playthrough that I'm doing on my own time. I always do. I always have something going on. So no, um, we'll go into uh, Anomaly naked, if you will, because um, I, I can't, I can't seem to not, I can't seem to get off the naked kick today. So we're going to go into Anomaly naked. I don't want to mod that um, because honestly, if I was going to mod it, they'll just come out with more DLC. <laughs> There's, they're just, uh, why is this playthrough borked? Roy Scott is asking, because I am prescient. I am, I'm a prognosticator of RimWorld. Whenever I start a modded RimWorld run, RimWorld immediately announces new DLC and then immediately puts out their version one point something and that immediately borks every mod I put in it. This is twice now. It's becoming a running jo joke around here. There has to be a suicide charge at the end. Um, possibly. I think Narishi will probably be dead at this point. Hang on, coffee's not in my face. Thank you. That's much better. Okay, uh, Narishi, are you not freezing to death now? Yes, you're not freezing. I'm sure you're sad that you have clothes on. I'm sorry you're sad that you have clothes on, but you know what you're not doing? Freezing to death. Freezing to death, okay? Um, so we need to we need to get some power rocking and rolling here. Frosty's cooking things. Um, Ditch, could you get the, the who's, who's he McWhat's it fixed here? Yeah, no, we need wood. Of course we do. I need colonists. You need wood, I need colonists. Dave's room world naked and afraid. That actually, that's a really good title for that. Because, um, you know, Anomaly, it's all about horror, so Naked and Afraid would be pretty good. I could just go with Nudist, because we're going to have to have ideology in, I believe. Uh, I hope we don't, but I think we're going to have to have ideology in, so it could just be a bunch of Nudists. I vote for a stream that's just your trying out silly or cool mods. Nothing would please me more, Chaotic. Nothing would please me more. I don't generally mod things, and I've discovered I really don't mod things until I've got over a thousand hours in the game, because at that point I'm starting to feel like I've seen a lot of the things the game can show me. So really, the only games I've ever modded are Fallout 4 and this, and RimWorld. Um, I, I could probably do it to XCOM. I could mod some XCOM. Oh god, who's freezing now? Um, so no, nothing would please me more, Chaotic, but every time I mod RimWorld, RimWorld borks it. Wait, why are you freezing? It's 40 degrees in here! That's not that cold. You've got blankets on. Why are you? Oh, I, 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 colonists. You're not even my colonist. That's the sad part. You're not even my colonist. We're not licking naked people. No, not today. I mean, I, it's always on the table. Like cannibalism. We're not licking them and we're not eating them. But it's always on the table. You can't just throw that out and say, we're not doing that. Oh, God, what? Who's having a medical emergency? Okay. Gazelle's probably going to die. Um, but you know what? That's rather fitting. Uh, we, could you please work on the heater? And Ditch, did you chop down enough wood to refuel that just so we have power? Uh, we don't have heaters because up until very recently it was the middle of summer, Mel. Um, also, we don't have anything at all, Mel, because initially my one of my best colonists was kidnapped and it took us a long time to get Ditch on board. So for a very long time, I was running this place with two people. And we're just, we're just not going to get much done with two people. I need about 12 to run a decent colony. About 12. 10 to 12. And I can run a good colony. But hey, these things take time. Gazelle contributes nothing. He's paralyzed. Speaking of which, I should check in on the duck. How's the very important duck? How are we feeding the very important duck? You know what? These guys got tons of food. They're fine. We've loaded that place up with food. Nothing to worry about there. It's just they're gonna... They're not... Oh, God, there's a fire. 
Well, if, you know what? If everyone goes and stands near the fire, they won't be cold anymore, will they? Dirty she, could you go put out the fire, please? Oh, you're already there. Good man. Good man. Put a heater in one room and vent to another. Yeah. Yeah, I, we're working on it. Again, it's just a manpower issue, city builder. There's one heater going here, and there will be at some point a vent. Did I... Oh, I put this down for two heaters. That was smart of me. Because they've never built the first one. All right, cancel that one. Um, yeah, no, there's there's vents marked out here, City Builder. There's vents marked out. But we have to go with fundamentals, which is, first of all, we don't have enough steel to do any of this. Because nobody's out mining steel because we're doing important things. Uh, how do you handle 10 people? Oh, God, 10's easy. I, I think my record is 32. It got so crowded at the top that all the icons shrank because there were so many people at the top of the screen. I'm pretty sure that's my record. I might have beaten that, though. I mean, I could certainly beat that if I also had a refugee quest at the same time. Oh, bye, Portia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, Bresme, 10 people. That's, that's my base. That's what I need to just function. But I've had 32. I may have had more. I may have had more than that. I'll take anyone. I don't care. I'm not picky. I will take anyone. 1.5 coming with improved performance, so bigger colonies are going to be easy. Uh, yeah, I love a big colony. Everything gets done. Everybody's working. Everybody's got a job to do. My problem now is I have 57 jobs and basically only two people that are handling them. Because everyone's running around like a maniac here, and I'm trying to get Narishi to do the research. So that just means he's stuck at a desk the whole time. Um, Frosty's bringing in... I don't even know what those are. Those are... There's a mod. There's one of the mods that survived very minor one but we do have the different fruits and vegetables uh what are you you're a dead wild boar oh you're desiccated that's no good i will get these though i'll absolutely get those so yeah it's um is that gold no that's compacted machinery okay so yeah i um there's lots of things i'd like to do in this colony but a it's not going to survive more than about another hour and b i've only got really two functional people because Narishi's chained to the re research desk. I'm um, too used to micromanaging them. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I like to get RimWorld up to a level of an ant colony where I can just sort of watch it go by and then respond to, you know, periodic events. Oh, I, 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 I want, I want, well, that's what I want. I didn't have really have a follow-up to that at all. I, I really, yeah, exactly. Cha Chaotic's got it. You just throw dozens of people at a problem. A, a fight comes up, throw everyone at it. Now, that didn't work out well the last Rim World one, in that I I got two-thirds of my colony killed for some tech prints that I never ended up using. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I sometimes that goes wrong, but um, the theory is good. The theory, I just give everyone weapons, and we just shoot everything. You can always send them into battle, and yeah, kill, I, actually, I do need to correct you, Em, it wasn't half, it was two-thirds. It was two-thirds of the colony that I killed. Uh, and Colony is my greatest foe. Yeah, that was the one with Tittles, Spike Little Girl. Uh, Tittles, the cyborg who survived. and Well, we all know the story of Tittles. A dead mother ate her, wore her as a shirt. It got a little grim. But yeah, that was the one where I killed two-thirds of my colony just so I could get some tech prints that I never ended up using. I'm a sucker for tech prints. And Captain Peacock, yes, Captain Peacock. Wait, was Captain Peacock in that one or the other one? I don't actually remember. It must have been in that one. Um, Narishi. Are you better? You're basically better. Who's having an... Oh, God, what? Um, Frosty, can we please get the... We're missing steel. Okay, okay. See, so this is why I don't like micromanaging. Um, ditch, get up and mine some steel. Narishi, wake up, mine some steel. Okay, and then when that's done, Frosty can hopefully finish the thing here. Because apparently our very important person here is going to freeze to death at any moment. So, um, no, Cap yeah, it was Captain Peacock in that one. Okay. It was Captain Peacock in that one. All right. Did I put Mrs. Slocum in that one? I should. I should name everybody Mrs. Slocum. That'll really confuse next the, the next one. I, I still, I've looked at bits of Anomaly. I'm still not really sure how I'm going to end up feeling about it. I feel it might be an ideology thing where I'm going to like parts of it, and then I'm not going to like parts of it. And then maybe later I just won't bother with that. I still love royalty, and I still love biotech. I'm just not sold on ideology. There's a lot of good points and some not so good points too. Um, remember, oh, he died. Well, that'll free up some food. Uh, I guess we didn't get the heater built fast enough. Yep, he froze to death. I assume you're frozen. He is indeed frozen. He's frozen. 
<laughs> Good. Um, it is 30 in there. Yeah, you're right. It is pretty chilly. Wow, Ditch will probably go down next. We should really get that heater built. And the vent. At the way, and, and by the way, and the vent. Uh, Royal Ascent. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, why don't we... Well, I was going to say reinstall that. Why don't we just reinstall Ditch? So this is now your room. Okay, you can sleep in the room with the heater next to the corpse. Okay, uh, next to the corpse. Are we, just for having the argument, are we are we butchering people? And if, we, if we're not, is there any specific reason we can't? So human-like corpses. I'm not colonists, though. And you, actually, I don't know if you might have technically counted as a colonist. You know what? Butcher everything. Butch, butcher everything. Wicked sorry. Yeah, wicked sorry, whatever your name was there, Gazelle. Wicked sorry, Gazelle. You did say you were cold. Rita said she was hot. I really got to start believing people when they tell me these things. The moon drain for something you can't even get. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, um... It's, it's not nothing. You're not wrong about that. The animals are doing well, though. I, should, I suppose I should put a heater in here as well. Ah, there we go. We're butchering our guest. Good. Good, good, good. Now we've got some fine human leather we can take advantage of. Now everyone's going to be horribly bummed out about that. But I kind of don't care. Okay, Hakuja's out. Uh, Huku Wait. Huku where, where are you? Why is this a... Pr oh, it's prisoner bed because we just knocked down all the walls. That's okay. I can fix that fairly soon. He says optimistically. Um, Frosty, uh, could you actually not do that? Could you do this instead? And could you actually not do that? You could do this instead. And you could also, uh, get down with some of this action here. Thank you. Wicked sorry, Rita. Wicked, wicked sorry, Rita. Well, Rita did say she was very, very hot. Uh, one person blown away by a strong wind. I am, um, I'm like Storm of the X-Men. I'm just killing them with the elements. Uh, but it's all, it's all for the good of the colony, because we are going to eat him. I, I can't... Actually, I should make sure we're going to eat him. Uh, again, I, I don't care about this colony. I, I can't say that enough times. This colony is getting burned very, very quickly. Uh, so, meat... Uh, no, we can we can have a good some good old human in here. Um, we won't have insects, though. I mean, we're not animals. We're not barbarians. So, we'll, we'll eat people, but we're, we're not going to eat bugs. A hurricane? Yeah, that would be a good one. That would be a nice one. A nice little hurricane party for everybody. Okay, um... What was the point of doing all of this? Oh, uh, so we can build all of these things and get the rooms back in order here. Actually, for right now, I'll just make this not for prisoners. So can, could everything just be for, for co no for, for colonists? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that'll solve the initial problem. Now, who doesn't have a bed? Uh, Frosty and Narishi. Okay, so Frosty, you can have a bed. And Narishi... You can have a bed. Okay, everything is fine now. Have you read the previews for the DLC? Yeah, yeah, read them uh, quite thoroughly. And again, I, I, I love the concept. I think the idea is great. It might be like biotech where they're throwing a ton of stuff on the table here. I have said before, and it's worth repeating, I think biotech could have been broken up into two separate DLCs. One for the biotech and one for all the, the, the mechanical stuff, the bots and all that. Um, I think they threw a lot into biotech, uh, even like small stuff that's in there, like the vampires and all that. They just threw a ton of stuff on the table, and it looks like they're kind of doing the same thing again. I do really like the bookcases, though. We haven't really done anything with them in this run, but I've done some with them in my own time. Boy, those things are great. You, you get a bookcase. I mean, you're going to need books, obviously. You're going to need books. Uh, you know what? Let's not even research just so we can focus on other tasks. So, like, I, I, in my other, in my private run, I, you know, put up a bookcase, bought a couple of books from traders, and uh, one of them was about beer brewing, and one of them was about tree sowing. And I did nothing. They just sit on the bookshelf, and the colonists come along, and they read them for recreation, and then we just automatically researched. It took some time. It took, like, you know, a couple of game seasons of people reading it. But after some time, we just automatically researched beer brewing and tree sowing without actually going to the research table. So it's kind of like free research and you get recreation points for doing it. We, the loyal followers, hereby launch this petition to urge him to grace us with the second season of RS2. Oh, don't ever change, failed sleep. Don't ever change. Um, <laughs> lightning in a bottle, man. I couldn't repeat it if I tried. Uh, Stranded Alien Dawn is 50% off. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, sh you should get that. You should get that. 
because Stranded Alien Dawn, I, I got I got much love for that game. Uh, series where you focus on building a massive library. That's definitely something I want to work towards, Chaotic. The, the book thing, you know, of all the things they're going to release, the book thing might be the most interesting thing of all of it, or the, certainly the most useful. And, the weir and, you know, I will say again, I actually put a mod in to have that. So basically, in, in case anyone's unfamiliar, what, what the developers of RimWorld do is they just kind of scrape out the best mods that are going on right now, repackage it, and call it DLC. And they're pretty shameless about it, too. They're like, yeah, we're just going to let you make our game, and then um, we'll repackage it and call it DLC. But God bless them, they put out one of the greatest games ever ever made. Um, so I had the bookcase mod in here. And now that obviously got borked because there's, like, legit bookcases in here now. All right, so everyone's got heaters now. Are we all a little happier about that? This one doesn't really need to live here. This should probably live, like, more over here. Okay. All right. Can I have all the Rising Star fans post RS2 in the chat? Update on the disaster. Chainsaw action. All right, you had me a chainsaw. Just landed a tree truck on my septic. Wait. A, oh, I think I should, I'm assuming a tree trunk. A tree truck would be like a landscaper truck. A tree trunk on my septic system. So now you have no water and nowhere to poop is what I'm reading out of this. You are, you should move. You should move. You should go somewhere else. Oh, happy birthday. I, I just saw that pop up. Happy birthday. All right. Um, yeah, no, I know Mark, everyone loves Rising Star 2. I love Rising Star 2. It's just, it was lightning in a bottle. I can't duplicate it. Even if I tried, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right. Uh, we've got a dead donkey. I don't know where that came from and why he's dead. Were we hunting that? Was I... Oh, I was hunting them. Oh, okay. That sounds smart. That sounds like something I should do. We should probably hunt some more. Yeah, we're not going to bother with research. Because why? At this point, do we have any food we could be getting out of here? Because we're going to hit winter pretty soon. Oh, we're totally going to starve to death. We're 100% going to starve to death. I see we are cooking our guests, though. That's good. So we're just making absolute pure carnivorous raw, well cooked human flesh now. And the donkey is there. Okay, well we should be definitely hunting more then because we're totally going to starve to death. Uh, actually, don't worry about the boars right now. Get the gazelles. There's more meat on the gazelles, I believe. Uh, and then obviously we need to murder all the turkeys because they're turkeys and that's just awful. The turkey should never exist. Uh, so we'll get we'll get some hunting going on. Otherwise, we are definitely going to starve. I've got 35 meals, a little tiny bit of meat, and not much else. I think the animals will be fine because they're they're going to be out of here reasonably soon. Yeah, we'll we'll have enough food for the very very important duck and the important alpacas. Uh, what's with this quitter's attitude? Not quitter, realistic, realistic. I learned that when I did a second season of MMORPG Tycoon Two. Which initially did very well, but I, I just, it wasn't, I didn't have it. I, I was not doing my best work for that because I was trying to recapture something that it could not be recaptured. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you got a turkey. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Uh, lightning has struck twice in the same place. That's true, but not for me and not generally for YouTube folk. All right. Um, oh, we're sowing corn. We probably don't need to be sowing this anymore because we're not going to get that up out of the ground. Uh, this is, what, eggplants? Are we going to get any of these? Maybe. No, probably not. But you know what? I'll keep them going just for keeping them going. And squash over here. Slim chance we might get some of these. All right, don't bother sowing this one anymore. And definitely, you know what? That's fine. Don't don't bother sowing that either. Or indeed any of this. So Sow nothing at all. Sow nothing at all. Uh, okay, actually, more meat coming in. That's good. There's only three of us, so it's not like I need a ton of food. What I need is a ton of materials. The material... Oh, it's going to be a shame to lose this map. This is one of the best maps I've ever landed on. That is so defendable. Unbelievable. And I could, I could burrow into the mountains to make more space. I'm never going to find this map again. This is such a good map. So much steel, components, everything I need is right here. Oh, it's a shame to burn it. It really is. But hey, there it is. Anomaly will be out and we'll we'll do some back-to-back -back anomaly just for the fun of doing it. 
also to you know capitalize on the fact that it's brand new and people are probably going to be want to be looking for that sort of content um major who's having a break brisk oh frosty what's your problem now are you not queen enough unsightly minor pain awful barracks oh because the the grate isn't up yet the little vent isn't up yet okay no that's fair that's fair. i said you know what why don't you just have this room instead why don't you just stop whining and go get a different bedroom there's like five bedrooms here for three people. Just go go get one of them. Go get any one of them that doesn't upset you so much. Actually, that's technically a barracks, too. Okay, can I have... Is there anyone who could do, like, hardcore mining right now? Um, Ditch, you could do that. Yeah, Ditch, why don't you just get down some, like, wicked serious mining action right now? Are you actually any good at that? Uh, you're not terrible. Not terrible. Had to expand my freezer, kept getting too much food. I often have to do that. Food is generally one of the things I can keep a handle on in this game. I, I you know, we've been talking about this with this sort of short run that we're doing, where it's kind of like the opening, the opening stuff is like chess. You know, you play your first moves and then RimWorld plays its first moves. And my first move is get as much food as I humanly can very, very quickly and stock up for the first winter. If you can get through the first winter, you're golden. You're absolutely fine. Okay, what, if anything, do I want to accomplish around here? Are we making the Psychite tea? Because I see... Oh, no, not at all. Uh, yeah, do until I have ten. We must not have enough to do that. We must be uh, not so good on that. Okay, everyone... Well, I say everyone is up. That's not true. Ditch is up. And having a snack. And then, Ditch, what are you going off to do? Please say mining. Digging a compacted steel. Fantastic. That's exactly what I need. I need steel to be coming in here, and wood, and everything else, frankly. I need everything around here. But the steel will be a good start. That way I can get the vents done. If I can get the vents done, everyone will stop whining about being in a barracks rather than a room. Right. One more time. When do the animals go home? No, no, slow, slow down, animals. When do you go home? Duck is out in 5.8 days. Alpaca is 4.3. That's a long time in RimWorld. That's a very, very long time. Are you guys sad that I made you eat a person? Um, not as such. I mean, no blood feeders. You're, you're going to eat a person. You probably haven't gotten to that portion of the meal yet. Wow, you hate everything. Uh, Ditch, have you eaten anyone yet? No, ate without a table. Don't whine at me about that. There's a table right there. Awful barracks. You want drugs. You're cold. You have clothes on. Everything is just awful just awful oh good i i can i can see ways i could pull this colony together i do i'm just not trying there are definitely things i could be doing to put this all back together but i'm simply not because in like 20 30 minutes it's just gonna go away it's just gonna not exist anymore uh we need a research project no we don't i assure you we don't there's no need for any research around here no need for any stonework. Um, the human leather could be get, get made into something. That'd be fun. Could we... Oh, you want a heater in there. Of course you do. Could we uh, copy that for a start? So, build a copy of that right over here. And then don't do that because that was a silly place. There's no power there. Build a copy instead over here. There we go. Oh, there's not enough stored. No surprise there. Okay, thank you, Ezra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excuse me one sec. <coughs> Maybe we can find Wolf. Maybe. I doubt it. I'm, I'm probably... That would probably be a quest sort of thing. That's going to pop up and say, oh, there's a there's a prisoner who's calling you on the on the prison radio saying, come and get me out of prison because I, I'm in prison. And then it would be like Wolf. And we'd go there and be like, oh, we got Wolf. Yay. But barring a pop-up, I don't... I don't believe there's any way to just find Wolf. That's not Wolf, right? Is that Wolf? Farming worksite. No, that's a farming... It's got 306 Kiwis. Dear Lord, that's a lot of Kiwis. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that there's any way we just find Wolf anywhere. So, yeah, it might pop up. It might not. Even if it does, we're clearly not equipped to do that. Clearly not. That would be the, the height of insanity, which is uh, kind of what I skew towards to be honest about things. All right, how much steel? I know you haven't really... Oh, those, those are components that you just got. Components are great. I'm not saying components aren't awesome, Ditch. I'm just saying we 
kind of need other things besides that. Like, mostly steel. Uh, Frosty, what do you have to go do? You seem very determined. Oh, you're going to bed. Yeah, you probably should be very determined about that. It's terrible around here. And you're bringing in another gazelle. All right, well, if nothing else, we're going to have a lot of meat. Can we steal some other colony's person? Um, you know what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's a mechanic. Can we kidnap people? I don't know. Because I don't think you can capture them on their map. If they were here, I could. I don't think we can capture them on their map. I actually don't know the answer to that. I mean, I could set up, say, a sleeping spot. Make it a prisoner spot. Can you do that with... Hang on. Does that, does that exist or am I hallucinating that? So if I said a sleep, just a regular sleeping spot, and then I said I want this to be for prisoners... Oh, I can. Okay. I can make that for... Oh, outdoor spaces. No. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. So that, that plan doesn't work. What I'd need to do... Okay. 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 M, I'm glad you're asking this because now I'm thinking about this. What I'd need to do is go there and kill everyone and then capture some people. But what I'd need to do is bring a large enough team because we're going to be staying there a while. So I need a team who can cut down trees and do mining, and I need to set up a temporary base. And then from that temporary base, capture the person, put him in a prison, reduce his will, Mike Tyson him into loving us, and then he'll join us, and then we could leave. I'm... Pr I could be 100% talking out of my hat right now. I'm not actually wearing a hat. I'm wearing headphones, but not a hat. Uh, build a huge caravan. Yeah, basically... I'd, I'd have we'd, we'd basically have to move temporarily and then come back. I don't. What I don't know if there's a time limit that a caravan can be out. Like like I don't know a season, a year, whatever. Is there some point where? Oh, hang on. Somebody just randomly joined our group. Uh, Jang's here, everyone. J Jang's Jang's on board. Jang Jang just showed up. Is this part of the 1.5 where they're like, wow, you desperately need another colonist? Um, Jang's here. Hi. Just randomly. Why did you randomly join? This place is terrible. I wouldn't randomly join this. Wow, you're really good at construction. Actually, you're really good at a lot of things. Hello, Dr. Jang. And construct. Wow, it's like me and Penge's game. Great at construction and medical. Oh, you're good. We like you. You're all right, kid. All right, do that. You can definitely be the number one doctor around here. You can be knocked back to number two, Frosty. And that, and obviously that. Actually, I can back Frosty off of that. But you also need to do mining, even though you don't like to do it, because everybody does that around here. I don't really care what else you do. You can be two on all the crafting skills. Oh, that's not a crafting skill. Okay. Um, yeah, no, Jang's just pop by. Uh, find Wolf, what could possibly go wrong? You're right, what could possibly go wrong? Um, do I have a bed that this kid can have? I do now. Jang, you can have that. Um, could anyone just... Actually, Jang, you're the construction person now. Could anyone just work on that vent so this is not a barracks anymore? And also, uh, Ditch, whatever you're up to is stupid and dumb. So what I need you to do is prioritize harvesting that tree. And then Frosty, you're butchering things, which is great. I love what you're doing with that. Um, and you're hunting a doe. Could you also get that tree down for me, please? Thank you so much. Uh, Ditch, while you're up here, get another one. And maybe a couple more. That'd be also super, super of you if you could do that. And then you can refuel the wood generator, which is why there's no power right now. Because I'm basically relying on this wood generator. Okay, so this is going to go down. And then, no, 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 Jank, re refuel that. And then you can go back to whatever silly thing it was you were doing that I told you to do. Okay, and then we'll have power back up. I should probably clean up the copious amounts of blood and vomit that are everywhere. This entire base is soaked in blood and vomit. You can't move in this base without stepping through blood, vomit, or both. Probably both. There's big patches of both everywhere around here. It ain't good. But Jang seems to be into it. Dr. Jang's like, yeah, cool. I will totally join this colony. I have no weapon for you. And you also have tattered apparel. What's your problem? Uh, your hat is awful. We'll take it off. Everything else is great. All right, there. I've solved your problem. In one fell swoop, Jang, I have solved your problem. You don't like your hat? You take off your hat. 
That's how hats work, Jang. That's that's entirely how hats work. If you don't like your hat, take your hat off. In fact, Jang, I'm going to take this a step further. All right, I'm going to expand upon this. Uh, Jang, if you don't like any of your clothing, take it off. Don't wait for me to come and take your hat off. Okay, don't don't wait for me to come and take your hat off. Uh, I wonder if the toilet mod helps with that too. I think it does, M. I think that does because there's a hygiene factor. It adds hygiene into their. Um, I don't know, moodlets, whatever you want to call it, their needs tab. So yeah, beauty, comfort, chemical, and outdoors, it adds hygiene into that. So I would assume if a colonist had high hygiene, you know, using the bathroom and taking a shower and going to the hot tub and whatnot, uh, then they, they would be less likely to get not only food poisoning, but any sort of illness. Is Zhang a better chef? Possibly, possibly. Um, I think actually the food actually is not bad. We we have we have you know quantified food here. Uh, he's not a he's technically a better chef, but only by one, really only by one. And Frosty's main gig is plants, which is irrelevant now because it's about to be winter. So I think she can stay on number one cooking. But I will put him at or her. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's it's all very gender fluid in my world. Uh, whomever you are, Jang, man, woman, or anything else. Um, you can just, you can be a backup chef. We've got a lot of raw food. Not so much on the cooked food. Although, that being said, I, I might just need to raise this a little bit. 35. How about we try for 40? Yeah, go shoot for 40 if you can. And then, no, not animals, the wildlife. Uh, sure, start taking everything out. Now we can go for the boars. Now we've got a few gazelles under our, under our belt here. And by under our belt, I mean butchered and dead and ready to be cooked and eaten. Okay, um, I'm going to allow your hat, Jang. I don't want you to put that back on. I never did set up a... I never did set up a uh, any th or a, um, a thing here. Um, no, Narishi, probably... Probably don't be a nudist. Just be anything. You know what? Be anything. Be anything you want to be. Uh, let's get a new policy going on here. So, yeah, new. Uh, policy 6, sure, absolutely. So, don't wear anything tainted. And then it has to be above, I'm going to say, 50, 51. I've heard different numbers, but I like 51. So it has to be better than 51% in terms of hit points. I don't care what quality it is. There you go. So now everybody, please be on apparel policy six, the most exciting one in the series. All right. And Jang, you're already into building things. Oh, Jang's just, Jang's in. Jang is coming in to turn this colony around. And that's that's rather unfortunate, Jen, because we're not going to be here next week with you. Unless you somehow magically turn up in the next one, which happens frequently. I have another Luxembourg. I always get a Luxembourg. I don't know why I always get a Luxembourg, but I have a Luxembourg in my uh, my little private play. I, I almost I almost invariably get a Luxembourg. Um, Zhang's kind of new, though. I'm not sure. I think I've seen Frosty before. I've definitely seen Narishi before. Speaking of which, what did Zhang go off to do? He's making a shirt. Wow. The, the sad part is, with Zhang, I could totally turn this colony around. If you said this is the colony we're going to play for the next year, because that's usually how long it takes us in RimWorld, with the addition of Zhang, he's very competent in a lot of things. Um, Frosty's wandering off. I don't care. I got Zhang now. Zhang's my new best buddy. So with Zhang, I could actually turn this colony around. I'm not going to. But I, I that's, that's the path to progress right there, is Zhang. It's all about Jang right now. Narishi, did you just eat your meal at the research desk? Is there a reason you guys don't like eating at the table? Also, is there a reason we've never finished building the chess table? Ditch, what are you doing? You're digging a steel. That's wicked cool. I really do appreciate that. Can we get a few trees cut down, please? Um, Zhang, what are you... Actually, I don't think I've got you pat, uh, tag, tagged for that. Narishi, why don't you come along and also take some trees down? All right, whatever you're doing is sad and wrong. Uh, Frosty the Sad Royal. Yeah, she's always sad. She's super, super sad about things. She's just wandering around being sad. I guess it's better than digging up corpses. And since I've got a really good construction guy, I may as well start to get some uh, floors down. I know you're saying I don't have enough steel for this. I'm pretty sure I actually do. Ditch has been out for a while doing mining. It's probably going to be fine, game. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Well, now what? Jeez, I could totally turn this thing around with Zhang. 
I, I, have, I assure you of that. I could turn it. Jang is all I needed right now. How, how about the animals? Uh, you're wandering and you're out in two days. And how's the duck? 3.7 days. Okay. Uh, we do need batteries. You're not wrong. I do actually know how to build them now. We could give it a shot. You know what? Let's be adventurous. Let's actually try to put some batteries down. I know you're saying, Dave. Dave, that's silly. You're right. It is. Welcome to the channel. Uh, so, I know you're saying we don't have enough stored, but I assure you we do. It's all going to be fine, game. You don't even worry about this game. This game isn't even going to be here next week. Game, don't worry. I got you covered. Alright, so that and that, and I'm making this room bigger than it needs to be, but I kind of don't care. And then a steel door can go right there. That will be perfect. Uh, you had Frosty, she got into a relationship and then died. Happens all the time. Song of the Loot. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you really enjoyed my room world. Don't get attached to this one, Song. Because uh, this one's going to be burned it, to make way for Anomaly. Uh, so Anomaly's out next week, and we will jump in. We're going to do... Pretty confident we're going to do some back-to-back -back Anomaly next week. We'll do it Friday and Saturday, just because I'd really like to check it out. And I'm not... Honestly, I'm going to be playing it with you guys. I will not have time on Thursday to really investigate it at all. I may have time to, like, start a playthrough on my own time. But I'm not going to have time to do anything with it. I get back quite, kind of late on Thursdays. So basically right to bed, more or less. So I, um, I'm i going to be playing it with you guys. You're going to be seeing it with me. In fact, as usual, you'll probably know way more about it by the time we play it than I do. Because you're going to have like a couple of days to get familiar with it. And I will really be starting it on Friday when we start streaming. So I'm <laughs> spending most of Friday just figuring out, you know, little things like the thumbnail and all of that stuff for it. So we shall see. We shall see. Uh, what's the problem? A friend needing help. Okay, what? Does this per is this person paralyzed, first of all? Could we just figure... Is Are, are they paralyzed? Because they're always paralyzed. Okay. Uh, wants to host her. Okay, I think this one might actually work, though. They might work for a living. So I can get a great bow and some silver. Or a side trainer for... St actually, side trainer for stun. I usually turn down side trainers, but stun is really good. Really, really good. Uh, I could buy biotech when my current game ends, either by death or takeoff. Oh, then let it burn. Oh, here's an easy one, Bresme. This is how my second colony went down. Uh, just go harass some muffalo. Because when they go muffalo revenge and the entire pack comes, they will stampede through your colony and kill everyone. That's how you do it, Bresme. Just go aggro all the animals. All those animals, all the big, big animals that have like a 10% chance of attacking. Heck, you know what? Go big or go home. Go aggro a bear. Resume. Just go aggro a bear. He'll take your colony out, no problem. I had to do it with muffalos, but you could do it with a bear. Or, you know, whatever, cougar or something. Stun's actually a really good skill to know. So, uh, l hang on, Lissa, slow down. Lissa, 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 Lissa. Uh, first of all, you're purple. I love that about you. Uh, kind of reminds me of Prince, back when Prince was Prince and not when Prince was the symbol thing. And then he became Prince again. It was very weird. Um, what exactly is it that you feel you do around here? Oh, you will work. Oh, good. I actually, I mean, you're not a good doctor, but you have a base medical training. Well, in that case, you can be, like, number one on all the crafting stuff. And actually, you know what? <laughs> Go number two on the crafting, and then you're my new cleaner, Lissa. You're my new cleaner. Okay? clean. Yeah, there you go, kid. I know you came here to learn about other cultures, um, but you, you mop the vomit off the floor now. You have a you have a good old time with that, Lissa. Have a super, super, have an awesome, wonderful cereal day. Have a wonderful, wonderful cereal day, Lissa. Go clean the vomit off my floor. Okay, and this can be your bedroom. It's terrible. It's it, guys, it's just awful. It's so awful. Um, I've got some slate, because nothing says attractive like a slate floor. But you know what? I've got it, and I don't want to give up anything else. So you can put that down like that um yeah now we get better people now i'm now i'm swimming in people yeah i that was like two game days i got two new people admittedly lissa will be leaving at some point but not right now and she can get a bunch of stuff down i think i could even go completely nuts and set up the stone cutting bench again oh it's already set up i could go completely nuts and set up some research again and we'll get more clothing going on how are we on parkas because um cold you're making pants, okay. Probably gonna do another shirt before you do that. 
Um, somebody make another hat, because I had to take Jang's hat off. It was a very silly thing. He was very sad about his hat, but now he can have a bowler hat, and everybody's happy in a bowler hat. Uh, Ditch is asleep. Narishi's asleep. Frosty's, Frosty's finally gotten out of her thing here. So low medicine. Yeah, I'm I agree with you about that game. That I, I will I will grant you that one. Wow, Liss is taking forever. This blood must be really caked into the floor. Can we get more colorful people? Oh, you mean like actual color, like people? Like the color purple people kind of thing? Absolutely. I have no idea how, but absolutely. Actually, I should go. I think we did it a couple of runs ago, a while ago, um, where we color-coded everyone. So I knew who was my medical team and who was like my my strike team, my my A A list warriors, um, and all we need is the die and the um, the table that does that. Yeah, I should. Somebody needs to remind me when we start up anomaly. I'm I'm gonna want to color code people. Have they added more to the surgery in the new update? I don't know. I have no idea, Hurley. I mean, I don't think there's anything in this. This 1.5 update is just some things that you get. Um, it's obviously Anomaly will give us more, but they always do that. They give you some freebies. And the, you know what? The freebies are actually pretty good. The freebies, because the bookcases are in here. I could be making a bookcase. I don't have any books. It's not a lot of reason for me to do it, but I, I could make a bookcase. A couple of them, in fact. Um, so, Diamond, welcome, welcome, welcome. Purple Cannibals. Ah, people eaters. I see what you're doing there. Uh, you figured out how to give them cat ears. Yeah, there's a there's a gene for that. If you can discover the gene or rip it out of somebody's flesh, then there's a, a bunch of good genes. Like, okay, like, Lissa, come here. What are your genes? I want to look at your genes. Okay, let me see your genes here. Wow, that's really boring. Okay, you have dark black hair and you have skin color. Okay, that, that was not as exciting. Give me somebody more interesting. Ditch, you're a freak. What, what are you into these days? Let me see your genes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, this is much better. Slate gray skin, gray hair, gaunt head. Okay, get gaunt head. Unattractive and aggressive. Terrible with animals, terrible with cooking, and terrible with art. And you're on drugs all the time. But you are super immune. I do love that gene. I love that gene. Uh, mods I know, but some sort of surgical tables or tools to improve chances... Uh, would be nice. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's not in not in this, not in the 1.5 update. There might be something in anomaly. I know there's a whole thing with uh, like holding cells and anal like you you capture the creatures and you analyze them and it it gets a little like Area 51, which is kind of the point. I think it's supposed to be like Cthulhu meets Area 51, uh, but you're going to be like analyzing the monsters and all sorts of stuff. I have no idea, Hurley. You'll find out next week when I do. You'll, I'm very excited to try it out. I mean, I'm not sold on it. I'll, I'll see what it's like. I mean, I, I loved ideology, and then I realized, eh, there's more, not quite enough good things to counteract the slightly pain in the neck things. But, um, you know, they're they're two for one right now. I mean, I don't mean they're on sale. I just mean they've put out two good DLCs that I love and one that I like some parts of. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, pushing much more into sci-fi. Yeah, well, I mean, it is. It is. It's basically Firefly, the game. Um, it is supposed to be that sort of Wild West in space, but, you know, space. Um, I'm just, why are there no laser guns in this? Well, they've got the the railgun kind of things, I suppose. Yeah, but, um, yeah, this is not... I think this is going to be less sci-fi and more horror. I mean, they're specifically going for a Cthulhu theme. Um, and, like zombies and ghosts and that kind of thing. It, it's supposed to be very, very supernatural. But I think within the supernatural, if I'm understanding what I'm reading correctly, there's going to be ways to analyze them so you can fight back against them in some way and you learn something about them. Um, what I I don't think it's in there, but if it's going to go all supernatural, what you should get is Ghosts of Dead Colonists because that would be perfect for me. Perfect. Ghosts of Dead Colonists just wandering around um, going, what 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 have you done to us, Dave? Why have I been eaten by my own son? Uh, maybe we end the stream by making the peeps mad and eating the duck. <laughs> Where is the duck? The duck, duck's right there. Duck's fine. You know, Sasquatch the duck is completely fine. Uh, no no problems with the duck. Um, and we're killing a lot of animals. I mean, we're just we're just taking out the low. Oh wow, there's so many gazelles. Oh, kill all the gazelles. Oh, I wish this was in a real game. I would be set for whole winter. With all, and, and one more doe. Basically kill anything that doesn't fight back. So the aliens and monsters, if you have landed in a rim world with an unknown end... So, more... Wait, hang on. 
pushing much more into sci-fi, more so the aliens and monsters. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, like there's a whole like Sarlacc pit kind of thing. There's a whole, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of reading what they've put out. Well, again, you'll find out when I do. But um, it looks interesting. It looks cool. It does look like they're throwing a lot on the table. Uh, this game make a great uh, K heart film, heart icon film. I hate that little icon down there. Oh, great kids film. There we go. If I look at it in my other monitor. Great kids film. Oh, yeah, it'd be fantastic. Kids love this sort of thing. Kids love cannibalism. They really do. Uh, it's just like, it's like, I don't know, Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny all rolled into one. Kids just love to eat humans. They do. They, they it's just, you just can't be a kid without, can't, is that just me? Now, kids love cannibalism. They really do. And they love people with purple faces. Uh, Lissa might just be choking to death. I don't know. I don't know Lissa personally. I just know she's cleaning my floors. And she's doing a fantastic job. There's so much less vomit around here now. A remarkable, remarkable reduction in the vomit and blood in the area. So this is going out real, real well for Lissa. Uh, sorry you won't be around next week, Lissa. I, I, you know, I can't, can't say that enough. Uh, Lissa, while, while, I'm, while you're under my command, would you uh, just haul that wool? Just get that wool out of the door so the door can close. Thank you, Lissa. I do appreciate that. Yeah, kid, kids love cannibalism, Brad. They really do. It's um, it's a thing. It's a kid thing, you know, going on the slide, going on the seesaw, and eating other humans. Uh, sometimes your own mother, as as we saw with Tittles. Is anyone gonna finish my thing up here, Chang? What are you doing? You're building a wall. Oh, you are literally finishing my thing, Chang. You're the best. Okay, you, you, Chang. You are the best at well building that wall for a start. What else are you good at? Yeah, construction's really good. Medical's great. Artistic, yeah, like I'm gonna have time to make some statues around here. That ain't happening. That's ridiculous. Cooking, you apart from mining, you've actually got really good broad skills. Oh, you're a night owl. I should change your schedule. Uh, that is six to eleven. Am I remembering that? Uh, no, eleven to six. Eleven to six. So you, you should be asleep between eleven a.m. and six. So you sleep from eleven to six. And then you can do anything then. Because I don't want you to be sad, Jang. You want to sleep during the day? You sleep during the day. That is okay with me. So yeah, we'll um, kind of kind of begin to wrap up here. We'll do, um, unless anyone has any major complaints, and frankly, if you do, that's largely irrelevant and overwritten by me because it's a, it's a democracy. It's not a democracy. Uh, we'll do back-to-back -back Anomaly next week. I'm, I'm excited to check it out with you guys. You'll probably know far more about it than I do by the time I get around to playing it, but we'll get in, stuck into some anomaly, uh, just like we did with ideology, just like we did with biotech, all this kind of thing. And then, um, you know, at some point in time, I'll run that, run that run to the end, and then I'll start to mod it, and then they'll immediately put out more DLC. So if you ever desperately need DLC here, you just have me start a modded stream. It's 2120 here, so 920. What time is it? What time is it here? It's like uh, 4.20, so we're five hours behind you. Or at least we're five hours behind you on the East Coast. Because we, you know, we're a large country. We have multiple time zones here. Uh, three of them? Four of them? Let's see. There's Central Mountain. Yeah, no, Central Mountain, Eastern, and uh, the other one. The way, the, the California people. Calif West Coast people. Uh, Western, I don't know. It's not Western time. It's whatever that, anyway. We have a, we have a bunch of different time zones. Uh, in comparison, what time is it in comparison to when WrestleMania starts? I have no idea. Um, I would assume that would be sort of an evening event. But yeah, it's like uh, we're five hours behind you, Hurley. We are five hours behind you. Uh, bye, Roy Scott. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, that's East Coast time. So that, you know, that changes by three hours. Are you going to be the same time both days? No. Uh, well, the same time as we always do, Brad. So two o'clock on Friday, three o'clock on Saturday. That's just due to my work schedule. I work on Saturdays, so um, I don't get home in time for two. So yeah, two o'clock Friday, three o'clock Saturday, this, the, the same time we've done since time immemorial, basically. So I started doing this nonsense. Um, Dish and Frosty are talking about lovers. Are Dish and Frosty gonna have a thing? They're the only original colonists left. Well, no, no, Dish is not original. That was a very silly thing. Uh, you'll be up very late or very early. Very, very likely, yes. Wow, we've killed a lot of animals. We've killed so many animals. 
So we'll do back to back anomaly next week, and that'll probably give us a. I mean, the the first stream is just going to be getting everything set up. Um, my initial opening moves, although who knows if I have to change those. I don't think I will. I never have. I've never changed those opening moves. So, and then the second one, you know, maybe we'll see more of anomaly, and then we'll kind of just make a decision from there as to what's going to happen. But I'm really excited to check it out with you guys. I hope you are too. Um, bring bring all of your friends. Bring approximately 959 of your friends to come see RimWorld Anomaly next week. Twice, in fact, twice. Uh, so you could break it up. You could have like 425 of your friends one day and then another 425 or so the other day. Uh, so feel free to break up your, your friends and pack them into your house and make them watch this. And then uh, subscribe. Again, path, path to 10K. You wanted Mrs. Dave, Brad. Uh, path to 10K is is when that happens. I promised it, and I will make it happen. And she's agreed to it. Uh, it's going to be all Mrs. Dave while I flail at Dark Souls. Guys, I'm going to check out there because I don't I don't really care about this colony. I, you know, we're just sort of bumming around here. It would have been good with Jang. If, if I was proceeding with this colony, I could actually start to pull all of this together now. I could be making some bigger moves right now with Jang and Lissa on board. Um, but um, we'll check out there, and we will come back next week again. Usual times, 2 and 3, Friday and Saturday, and we'll start some Anomaly. I hope you guys are interested in it, because I am interested in it. And um, we'll try not to burn it down on the first day, so there's something to watch on the second day. But guys, I'm going to check out there. Thank you so very, 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 very much for coming by and allowing me to do this publicly for you. It's, it's just rather ridiculous that people tune in to watch this. But here we are. We're having a great time, and I show up, and you guys show up, and you never, ever disappoint me. I have a fantastic time doing this. I look forward to this every single week. So, Anomaly next week. Apart from that, you guys have a fantastic week. You know where to find me. Thank you so very, very much.